So, Dennis, how's your campaign going so far? Well, I think a man running for office never really knows how his campaign is going, but I feel optimistic and feel that things are reasonably satisfactory as I go around the district. Uh, as best I can set, can assess them, I think uh, things are going reasonably well. Now, this is a new district, actually, that you're running in as far as the redistricting is concerned. Do you think this will be an easy or a hard district to represent as far as different factions of people if you're elected? I think it'll be a very interesting district to represent because it's a real cross-section district. You have uh, several large, comparatively large, industrial cities. You've got a lot of good rural area. You've got a lot of small towns, and you have every uh, political opinion in the, in the spectrum from the extreme right to the extreme left. I think it's a pretty good cross-section of uh, mid-America, really. It ought to be an interesting district to represent. That uh, big cross-section in the spectrum from the left to the right, would that pose a problem for a representative and how to vote on... Uh specific issue? Oh, I assume so. I think that's bound to be true. You can't hope to suit everybody on every vote. Of course, you have to vote what you think is correct and represent the majority sentiment when you can, but you're not going to please everybody all the time. Outside of the Deep South, we hear a lot that uh, Mr. Wallace seems to be running strong in Indiana. Now, of course, he's running for president, but have you noticed that this has affected uh, your race or any of the other races in the state, the Wallace candidacy? Well, my impression going around the district is that Mr. Wallace has got some substantial support. I feel that in this area, it comes from both parties, but I think predominantly from normally Democratic voters. And therefore, I think uh, overall in this area, it will help the Republican candidates and the Republican ticket. We hear a lot that uh, some people say they're just going to go vote for president, they vote for Wallace and then leave. Have you found people that uh, have said that they're just not going to participate uh, down on your level, they're just going to vote for Wallace and then leave? Well, I don't know that anybody's really told me what they were going to do, and I, but I think uh, some of them will do that. Of course, if I'm right about most of Wallace's votes being normally Democratic votes, that will help the Republican cause. Uh, I'm sure others will vote, and I think they'll vote both ways, probably.